So Stonyfield began as an organic farming school in Wilton, New Hampshire in 1983. Our founders had this incredible idea that was really radical at the time that they could build a business, a profitable business that would have a limited impact on the environment. You think about how consumers buy food, how they engage with companies. They're, they're, they, they learn about brands like Stonyfield in different ways. But at the end of the day, they're going into a store and in a very short amount of time are making a decision about, how to, about the food they want to buy. I mean, for me personally, I've, I've always been a consumer of Stonyfield products, and I take a lot of pride in working for this company. I think one of the things that I enjoy most about working here and what brought me to Stonyfield in the first place um, is part of that background value system, that history, um, the story that made Stonyfield what it was. And so we spend a lot of time internally thinking about how we build up a supply chain, how we develop products that meet that, that uh, you know, the same goal that we've had for 30 years. You don't see many companies out there today that are willing to say to their consumers, this is how we make the product. This is where our ingredients come from. I know that we work with some great farmers all over the world, um, but what we want to be able to do is share that information with, with the people that we're selling to or that consuming our products. So I spend a lot of time working on uh, looking at spreadsheets and trying to think about how we optimize our products and how we deliver what we need to customers. Working with SourceMap sort of connects our products um, with that value chain as far as our ingredients are concerned. We got really excited about the idea of creating a, a different kind of transparency, a different kind of visibility for our consumers. And SourceMap was one step further in sort of uh, this long-standing approach that we've had to sort of helping consumers understand what they're eating.